Welcome to this, the first installment in this new series for the channel entitled Building Bossa Bass Lines. In this lesson, we'll be looking at the popular Louise Bonfer tune, Black Orpheus. This is a very popular tune that all bass players should know. It's a lot of fun to play and gets caught on gigs all the time. So it's a great tune to kick off the series. Let's take a look at the form. Black Orpheus has a 32 bar A, B, C, D repeating form. Each section A, B, C and D are 8 bars in length. The key signature has no flats and no sharps, which tells us that it's either in the key of C major or the relative minor, A minor. A quick glance at the chord progression tells us that it is the latter. The first A section establishes the home key of A minor. We see plenty of A minor 7 chords and some minor 2 fives. The first harmonic change happens in bar 6, with a major 2 5 leading to the relative major, C major, in bar 7. The C sharp diminished chord in bar 8 sets up the D minor 7 chord in the first bar of the B section. In this context, we can think of this chord as an A7 flat 9 without the root note. When we get to the B section, we have now modulated into the relative major, C major. The form continues with a cycle 4 chord progression, D minor 7, G7, C major 7, F major 7, B minor 7 flat 5, E7, A minor 7. A series of chords moving through the key of C major and eventually returning to the key of A minor. Another very famous jazz tune utilizes this exact chord progression. Do you know which one? The first four bars of the C section are identical to the first four bars of the A section. In bars 5 and 6, we see a minor 2 5 in the key of D minor, E minor 7 flat 5 to A7. It seems that we have changed to the key of D minor, but we're actually still in the key of A minor. The minor 2 5 is used to transition to the 4 chord of A minor, D minor. The D section is made up of chord progressions we already know. This time, however, slash chords are used. Slash chords are when you play a note other than the root note in the bass. For example, D minor 7 with a C in the bass or A minor 7 with a G in the bass. The backbone of bossa bass lines is the two feel, or playing two minimum notes per bar. We'll start by playing our bass line using the root, third and fifth of each chord in the progression. Now, it's not going to sound very good at this point, but we're just laying the groundwork. Thank you. 
Now it's time to make our bass line a bit more interesting. By adding in some rhythmic variation, you can really give your bass line some life. Sounding better already. Let's put in some more rhythm. Now it's starting to sound like a bossa bass line. But what really makes this style of bass playing come to life is the use of percussive notes and variations in note length. But we'll save that for the next lesson. All the PDFs from the exercises used in this lesson can be downloaded from the link in the description. That's all we have time for in this lesson. If you have any questions, comments or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave me a comment. Thanks very much, and until the next lesson, take care.